The cable and sleeve system can be used for a variety of trauma cases, including fractures of the hip joint area, support for artificial joint surgery, and iliac shaft fractures. The cable can be connected to a sleeve for separate use, and it can also be used in combination with dedicated cable plates, such as the cable bone plate and cable grip plate to achieve optimal results. The cable and sleeve system provides 1.6 mm and 2.0 mm thick cables and sleeves to suit each, as well as four types of cable bone plates and various types of cable grip plates. Identify the area of the fracture where the cable will be used. Choose an appropriate wire passer based on the fracture type and position the wire passer around the bone from below, as if hanging it on the bone. Insert the cable through the wire passer hole and remove the wire passer. Connect the cable crossover point with the sleeve and pull the cable tight as much as possible. Connect the cable to the tensioner. and turn the tensioner handle to tighten the cable firmly. After tensioning, firmly secure the sleeve with the sleeve gripper. Then pass the remaining cable through the hole of the cable cutter and cut the cable. Confirm the fracture site and insert the cable through the wire passer hole. Then, remove the wire passer. Pass the cable through the bone plate hole and connect the sleeve to the cable. Use the tensioner to sequentially tighten the cables and position the plate as close to the bone as possible. After tensioning, firmly secure the sleeve with the sleeve gripper. Then pass the remaining cable through the hole of the cable cutter and cut the cable. Select the appropriate grip plate based on the fracture site. Connect the grip holding impactor to the grip plate and position the grip plate to match the bone shape. Insert the cable through the wire passer hole and remove the wire passer. Pass the cable through the grip plate and pull both sides of the cable tight as close to the bone as possible. Use the tensioner. To tighten the cable and, once completed, pass the cable through other locations on the plate and tighten it with the tensioner. After tensioning, firmly secure the sleeve on the grip plate with the sleeve gripper. Then pass the remaining cable through the hole of the cable cutter and cut the cable. The lesser grip is used for added stability of the cable and is secured by passing the cable through both holes in the grip. Additionally, you can insert a screw into the central screw hole of the grip for additional fixation. 